It's Monday the 3rd of April and what a lovely day we've had so far. Mr J and I went to the local town this morning to run an errand and I've just spent a lot of time with the chickens today, all of whom have been laying like mad. Now they haven't got the broody hen squeaking at them and squawking at them. But the broody hen has decided she doesn't want to be broody after all. So at the moment she's racing around the garden She's not supposed to be out at all. She should be enclosed and we're trying to catch her, but she's a, she's a bit quick and uh, not quite as easy to catch as I would imagine she might be. However, there are going to be more chicks because we've been in touch with somebody who's part of a, a Hatching Chicks in Schools pr program and she's just offered us 16 little chicks uh, that are three weeks old that we can have uh, later in the week and we can grow them on uh, into adults. So my project for today has been to sort out a raised bed uh, in which to grow our parsnips. You might remember that a few weeks ago we bought these collapsible boxes that have neither a top nor a bottom, they're just the four sides, uh, from a local company and we bought five of them and they weren't very expensive and hopefully we'll be able to have some more very soon. However, what I've done is I've got my saw out and I've sawn them a bit and uh, put a few screws together. They now look like this. So we've got one large uninterrupted bed, which I can fill up with compost to grow the parsnips in. And over here, I have yet another of those enormous thistles so I'm going to have to dig that one out before I cover it with more feed sacks. Uh, these are our paper feed sacks which I save to put on the ground underneath the compost just as a way of suppressing the weeds. I really do need to try and get this bed uh, completed and filled as soon as possible because it really is time that I got the parsnip seeds in. So far I've put in two trolley loads of composted wood chips and that's not quite halfway and it also doesn't fill it to the top but I'm going to do it at this level all the way across and then if I've got enough I'll come and top it up with some more right up to the top of the bed. It's been a lovely day here. I haven't got that raised bed finished today, but I'm sure I'll finish that tomorrow. And although there is a hurry for it, tomorrow will do fine. It's now time for me to go in and uh, start making some supper and to switch off for the evening. Mm -hmm. 